So this is my second video for the day. Um, typically, when I have a lot on my mind, I like to write. Um, I had even had a, um, a blog that I did for a while while I was working through some stuff um, prior to becoming tour observant. Well, now I can't write. <laughs> um, my hands are pretty swollen. I don't know if you can really tell very well. Let's see. My knuckles, especially like my, my middle and my ring finger, are pretty swollen. I, I don't know if you can see a little bit of darkening on them. That little bit of darkening is actually purple. Um, also, if you see my hand, the bottom part right here, I said in a video recently, where I think it was in one of the thyroid videos about thinking that I was losing muscle on my hands because my hands were starting to do some weird look. Uh, it almost looks like an atrophy type um, look and that's because my fingers are so swollen. This is as far as I can stretch out my hand. My wrist, that's as far back as I can put it. Right about there. Forward is easier. This one's easier to put back and forward. This one's looser today. Um, the biggest part on this one is this knuckle. So you can kind of see that discoloration. It's actually like a lavenderish purple. Um, so my hands don't stretch. I have them as flat as I can make them. Um, they don't stretch very well. I can type if I really, really want to, but I also pay for it the next day. So the, these vlogs are somewhat helpful to me because <laughs> I can't type anymore. Um, at least not without really paying for it um, and without difficulty. <clears throat> So after my last uh, video, I again went and looked for videos on Lyme. Um, I do that a lot, trying to find more information about Lyme disease and other people's personal stories. It seems that at the early onset of the serious issues, like the the more um, things that are that are like shooting pains and, and inflammation and stuff like that, things that, that are big indicators for Lyme, that it tends to fall into one of two camps. Either it's physical, like it is for me. Um, I have a lot of physical problems. I sat in a chair for a little bit just before doing this vlog. And um, to get out, I had to like double over almost completely um, and then stand there for a second on my feet to make sure I was steady and then straighten up. The whole process probably takes a minute, minute and a half to get out of a chair. Um, <clears throat> so I have a lot of inflammation. My ankles swell pretty frequently. My toes have issues because they feel weird. A lot of my body parts feel like they need to pop. This elbow, it's not going to do it right now, but this elbow um, snaps really loud frequently, at least six or seven times a day and it hurts. Um, if I do manage to get any bones to pop, it's, it doesn't feel very good. It's pretty, pretty, uh, painful. Um, so for me, a lot of my issues are, are physical. I do suspect I have a little bit of neurological stuff going on. Um, there's days that I will say the wrong word and, uh, in conversation with people or, I have to really think hard about what somebody's saying to me and stuff like that. So there seems to be a little bit of neurological stuff going on, not enough to make me overly concerned. Um, but then there's other people that their symptoms are neurological and less uh, physical, and it's heartbreaking. Um, I watched a video of a guy on YouTube by the name of Jake Sidwell today, and um, he's got such a cry out for help. He, and I watched one of, after watching that video, I watched another video that he posted five months ago. He's totally different. He's lost weight. That's clear. Um, and you know, his, his outlook, his, the way he presents himself and granted this was a particularly bad day for him, but it was bad. Um, and Lyme is scary enough that, I mean, the onset of the symptoms seem to be either neurological or physical, but a lot of people have this crossover that happens between the two um, eventually when they go on um, go on without any kind of assistance for, for um, getting their problem under control. Um, 
not very good looking, you know, I mean, the outlook for Lyme doesn't look very good a lot of the time. And it's discouraging. I mean, I've read stories now. So my kids have barged in like five or six times and I'm probably going to end up cutting out a good four or five minutes out of this video just to save you the barging in, barging out, yelling, screaming, and whatnot. Uh, even with Lyme, you're life as a parent doesn't stop. I don't know if you heard the door slam. I think that that's finally the end of the noise for the moment. Um, at any rate, so some of the stories coming through um, about people dealing with Lyme are pretty disturbing. Um, on one hand, I want to know what it is that I'm up against and things that maybe I should take a look at if I start showing symptoms in different areas. Um, on the other hand, it's discouraging. I mean, people are at their wits end and feel distraught and like they can't continue. Um, anybody that's dealt with like chronic fatigue, it's depressing. Um, but this, this in and of itself causes depression on top of the symptoms that the, that the Lyme disease causes and therefore making it the number one cause for suit or that the number one cause of death for Lyme patients is suicide. They feel like they can't get away from the pain. They feel like nobody believes them. They feel like um, like there's no hope. My hope is number one in God. Um, and I think that that keeps me going. I think that God has allowed me to have Lyme for some reason. I can't begin to tell you what that reason is. Um, at the bare minimum, maybe to pray for people um, like Jake Sidwell uh, that have Lyme and are battling it and are crying out to God to help them. Um, maybe it's to make these videos and eventually show how I cured myself. That's my hope, but I honestly don't know that that's what God's plan is for me, and I'm really okay with God's plan for me, even if I don't really enjoy the plan that he has. I mean, obviously I don't enjoy being in pain and not being able to care for my children properly, and um, I mean, I can't pick up my 11 month old. Oh, today is the 5th, I believe. Yes, so she's 11 months old today. Um, and kicking my, my older kids out all the time because I can't handle even the remotest amount of stress. Um, my body is under a lot of, of stress physically, and that's mentally exhausting. So... What God's plan is for me with Lyme, I don't know. Um, I hope that it, he makes it clear at some point. So I have decided to start a new game plan. Um, I need something to do besides the videos, which I'm enjoying doing. But um, besides the videos, I need something else to do. I, I need something to connect spiritually. Um, not that I'm not connected to God. I really think that God's got the the handle on this, um, or steering wheel on this, but um, I need something besides just reading and praying, God, please heal me. Um, so I've decided to start a, a name list of sorts of people with Lyme disease that are crying out to God and want prayer. So um, I'm going to start that. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I've got this little idea of putting their names on little pictures of lime slices or something. I, I don't even know. Um, but that's the least that I can do. I can pray. Um, I'm a terrible, terrible person at prayer. Um, I've never been very good at it. So maybe this is God's way of showing me how to pray and how to be comfortable with praying, particularly out loud. I mean, I can pray in my own head. God, please forgive me. Please help me. Please help my family members, stuff like that. But I am a short, sweet, and to the point prayer. And I want to have those long, fluid, um, beautiful prayers that I hear other people that have this wonderful prayer life. Um, so I decided that maybe I will go ahead and start praying for other people and their Lyme disease and their um, distress and what they're dealing with, starting with Jake Sidwell. Um, I don't know. I hope to see him some more on YouTube and see how God is helping him, um, whether that's through treatment or healing or 
um, just emotionally feeling better or I, I don't even care. I hope to see him some more on Facebook. So um, if you want, head over there. I'll put his his um, his channel in the comments below. Head over there and tell him that you're you have been sent over by God, not my, not me, <laughs> my God, um, but sent over by God to answer a prayer for him, to say that, yes, you are praying for him. Um, it is so clear that he really needs some prayer, as well as a lot of other people, but his story really, really struck me today. So um, I guess that's the end of this YouTube video. Um, at any rate, please keep him in prayer. Please keep me in prayer and um, stay connected. Bye.